Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to part two of creating our weather app with text to speech. To get started, open up Google Chrome or whatever web browser you use. We will be setting up the weather API now. Go to openweathermap.org. Now go to API. Click on current weather data. Subscribe. Do the free version and sign up. Once you have finished signing up, this is what you should get. Go to API keys. You should have a default one right here. Just stay on this page and we're going to need this API key later. You have to wait 10 minutes before you can actually activate it. So we're going to do the code right now and we're going to be needing it later. Go ahead and create a new file by co doing command N or going to file new file. Let it be a Swift file. I'm going to call it get weather. Drag it up a little bit. First step, import the AV Foundation library. This will do our speech things, like text to speech. Now we will define our class, which is weather or get weather. Now we start with a synthesizer, which is equal to an AV speech synthesizer. Now we define the utterance, and that's equal to AV speech utterance with string of none. Now we define our open weather map base URL. That's equal to HTTP API dot open weather map dot org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather. Now we will define our open weather map API key. That's equal to the API key here. Copy it, paste it here. Now we will define our get weather function with the city. First off, we start off with the session, and that's equal to a URL session that's shared. Now we define our weather request. URL, which is equal to a URL with the string of, we start off with the open map, weather map base URL, and then a question mark, app ID equals open weather map API key, and sign Q equals City. Great. Now we will do our data task. That's equal to a session dot data task with URL, but we don't want this option. Go back and look for the and we want the completion handler. The URL request is weather request URL. Completion handler, don't delete it. Press enter. Put in data, response, and error. First step, we want to check if there's an error. If error let error equals error, then that means we got an error and we're, we're going to print the error. new line error and then else if there isn't an error then we're gonna do
So we're going to define the weather equals try JSON serialization dot JSON object. And it's just with data and options. Data will be just data and options will be dot mutable dot mutable containers. as dictionary of string any object and what error are we getting here well so let's go back and look at what we have here right here so we're not supposed to have that parenthesis here we're supposed to put a comma there and put in completion handler That solves our problem. Except for we're also missing that parenthesis. So we're going to put it there too. Right there. And now our problem is resolved. Now we get another error. What is this error now? Well, first of all, it's going to. It's giving us invalid conversion from throwing function of type blah 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 throws that to non throwing function type data URL response error void. Well, it just means that we haven't thrown an error yet, but we're going to do that later. So let's do that. And after we have defined the weather, go ahead and set the utterance. The utterance is equal to AV speech utterance with the string, of course. And we will put in weather for data for weather name. It is whether as string any object, we have to put that in a parenthesis. outside and then after you've done that we have to put in main now we put in the temperature is weather main temp as and here we're going to set it to a double because this is giving it as in kelvin so we have to minus 273.14 to convert it to Celsius. Celsius, the humidity is weather main pressure. HPA. That is the utterance. Now we set the rate self dot utterance dot rate equals zero point four. Then self 
dot synth dot speak utterance or self. And this has to have itself too. All right. Now, after this, we want to see if there's an error. Catch let JSON error as NS error. That means an error occurred while trying to convert the data into a dictionary. So we'll just print the error. Got it? All right. Now, after this, we will tell the data task to resume. Great. Now, let's check over the warnings. So if you get that warning, you probably will, you don't have to worry about it because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't cause a problem with the app. Now, we have to allow the arbitrary loads for the app transport. So we put in app transport security settings, add another one. We add another row and shift it to the right. Let it be a lower arbitrary loads. Set it to yes. Great. Now we are ready to run. Make sure everything is in place. You might forget a thing or two. In my case, I just did. Remember, if we go back in here, we have to put in the weather, weather here. So we're going to define weather getter equals get weather. Weather getter dot get weather. And the city is just city. Great. Now we can run. Let's go to the simulator. This may take a little bit of time to load, but once it does, here it is. Let's press weather. Listen to it. Weather data for Cupertino. It is haze outside. The temperature is 11.34 Celsius. The humidity is 1014 HPA. Oh wait, we made a little bit of an error here. Let's go back to get weather. The humidity is weather main pressure. We forgot about the humidity. And we put in percent. The pressure is weather main pressure and HPA. Great. Now let's retry it again. We can put this as a period, put that as the run again. Let's try again. Weather data for Cupertino. It is haze outside. The temperature is 11.34 Celsius. The humidity is 50%. The pressure is 1014 HPA. Awesome. That's our final project. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I will be posting the source code down in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post a comment below, or you can send me a message. And I will be continuing to make videos. So please like and subscribe, as I have said before. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.